Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss. I'm back again with another video. And basically, I'm just gonna address a few topics, answer a couple of questions, and then I'm gonna keep it moving up out of here, all right? I'm trying to make this one real short. Now, a lot of my dudes been hitting me up asking me, you know, what we doing next. Before I get into that, let's talk about what we not doing next. All right, first off, the iPhone 4S. Now, don't get me wrong, the iPhone 4S is a nice phone, top of the line, Apple joint and all that, but y'all seen my video on the iPhone 4, the main problem I had with it was the size. With that being said, the iPhone 4S is the same exact size, you know, that 3.5 inch screen. And after using the 4.3s and the 4.5 and all that, you know, we can't go back down to those little small screens. Now, the iPhone 4S, don't get me wrong, it's a nice phone, you know, the series, a nice little addition to it and all that, but basically it's the same phone as the iPhone 4, and I'm gonna have the same problem I had with the iPhone 4, which is the size. I, don't, I, I can't really flow with that small screen. So that's why we're not doing the iPhone 4S reviews. Next, the HTC Resound. Now, if you rock with Verizon, you've seen the HTC Resound coming out and all that. The reason I didn't do a review on that, because I told y'all before in my other videos, you know, we don't get no sponsorship and all that over here. This is all stuff that I'm reviewing that I'm, you know, personally buying. And it, it wouldn't make any sense for me to go out and buy the HTC Resound for $650 when it's basically just another Android 2.3 gingerbread, you know, another 1.5 gigahertz processor, dual core, you know, it's just a, it's exactly the same as getting the HTC Evo 3D. You know, so it would be foolish for me to sell this one for two, three hundred dollars and go buy that HTC Resound for six hundred and fifty dollars for the same phone with Beats Audio. You know, that's not really that big of a deal. Now, don't get me wrong. The HTC Resound is a definite go. You know, if y'all didn't notice, that phone has the best resolution out right now, even better than iPhone 4S. Do your research. But for me personally, it wouldn't make any sense to have two of the same HTC phones. So that's why we're not really doing the Resound. It's a good phone though, but we're not doing that. Next, the Motorola Droid Bionic. Now, me personally, I'm not feeling the Droid Bionic. I don't like the shape of it. I'm not really digging that phone too much. Not to mention, it's just another 2.3 gingerbread, another 1.2 gigahertz dual core. You know, it's the same phones like we already got right now. Not to mention, y'all see I got the Motorola Photon. So getting the Droid Bionic would be the same as getting another Photon. So that's why we're not touching the Droid Bionic. Next, uh, the Droid Razor. Now, don't get me wrong, the Razor is a top-of-the-line phone, you know, it's the thinnest joint out and all that. But, um, once again, another 2.3 gingerbread, another dual-core processor. You know, it's basically like getting another Photon, but a thinner version. And the main downfall about that phone, one thing that I could never rock with that phone, you can't take the battery off. All right, so now y'all know how these Android phones, they, they kill the batteries and all that. You can't take the battery off, so... That's a major, that's a major no-go for me. I need to be able to put extended battery or I need to be able to have a spare battery because I'm outside all day. All right, so that's why we're not doing the, the Droid Razor. Next, the HTC Titan and all of these new Windows phones coming out. Anybody who rocked with my channel before, y'all know one thing I don't do is Windows. I hate Windows phones. They known for lagging. They known for having no resale, vac you know, resale uh, value. You can't even give a Windows phone away nowadays. So that's why we don't touch Windows phones over here. I can't, I can't flow with Windows. They don't have all the hottest apps out and all that. So we're not doing that. Now the HTC Titan, is, that's a good look, but um, we're not doing that. Next, the HTC Thunderbolt. Now that phone is already kind of old, but a lot of cats been to hit me up asking me why I didn't review that. That phone is a definite fail. Now if you got that phone, you know what I'm talking about. You probably just now getting gingerbread on that phone. That phone is a flop, all right? So if, if you're in Verizon or you, you're on the fence and you're about to get an HTC Thunderbolt, don't do it, all right? Trust me, that phone is, is, is trash. That shit is mad whack. Next, the Samsung Skyrocket and all of the new Galaxy phones out. You know, those phones all coming out, they all pretty much the same. Y'all seen my videos for the, you know, the uh, Epic Touch. There's no reason for me to get another 2.3 gingerbread Galaxy phone, all right? How, you know, I'm already sitting on three gingerbread phones. No reason for me to get any more. So that's what we're not doing next. Which brings us to what are we going to do next? Now, everybody knows that Verizon, they, you know, they've been playing games with the release date and all that. It's looking like December 8th or 9th right now so far, hopefully. But um, the Galaxy Nexus, that's what we're waiting on. That's what we're doing next. That's, that's going to be a big joint. Now, I know what, yeah, what y'all saying right now. Like, wait a minute. That's another dual core processor phone, another Android phone. Yeah, but you got to remember, this one is a step up, all right? The Galaxy Nexus, you're talking about 4.6, that's even bigger than the Epic, 4.6 inch screen, 
You're talking about the brand new ICS ice cream sandwich Android 4.0 operating system. And y'all know that's the brand new one, first one on the set. So you know I got to get that. And also it's just a, a whole bunch of upgraded features. You got the panoramic camera. You got the facial recognition software for the unlock. You know, you got the Android Beam. I mean, you got multitasking at its finest. That phone is going to be a major go. All right. So that's what we're doing next. We're doing the Galaxy Nexus. All right. What else? Let's talk about tabs real quick. As far as tabs, a lot of people been hitting me up about the Sony tab. I'm not feeling the Sony tab because I don't like the shape of it. It's, it's ugly. And, you know, when you're buying electronics, part of the sale is, you know, what does it look like? If it's ugly, it don't matter what software is running on it. If it's ugly and you're not feeling it, why would you drop a couple of hundred dollars on it? You know, now if they drop the price to hundred dollars or whatever, like the playbook and the touchpad and all that, yeah, then I might scoop one up. But as, as it stands right now, I'm not feeling the Sony joint. Next, the Galaxy 7, you know, the Galaxy 8.9. You know, look, I, I'm already sitting on two 7-inch tablets. I'm sitting on a whole bunch of honeycomb tablets. It doesn't make any sense for me to get another honeycomb tablet just, a, you know, in all these intermediate sizes. I already got two 7s, got a bunch of 10s, so we, we're passing on, on those Galaxy tabs. But don't get me wrong, those are top-of-the-line tabs. If you need a 7-inch, I recommend getting the Galaxy Tab 7. All right, trust me on that one. Next, the Kindle Fire. Now, me personally, I'm not a big e-reader and all that, but if you into reading books and all that on the go, you need a Kindle Fire, especially with the price. The price is $200. You can't beat that price. It's running Android apps on it and all that. I don't know. I'm thinking about scooping up one for my daughter and all of that, but me personally, I'm not really that big of a reader and all of that. So, you know, the stuff I read, Twitter and Facebook and all that, I could do that from any one of my tabs. So I don't really need that Kindle Fire. But from what I'm hearing, dudes, I know that I got it. The Kindle Fire is a definite go. What else? The HTC Jetstream. Now, that tablet is a quality tab and all that, but everybody knows that you gotta go get it from AT&T and you gotta get it with a contract. So, you know, that's a no-go. You know, I'm already sitting on a whole bunch of tablets. I got the phone rooting and all that, so I'm getting the free Wi-Fi tether. No reason for me to go run out and get another, you know, another $30 a month bill just to have the Jetstream and it's nothing but another honeycomb tablet. Don't get me wrong, it's HTC quality and all that, but I don't recommend getting no tablet that you gotta, you know, especially if you're into the tech game, that you're gonna have to get another bill. You don't need that. So, what's left in the tablet game? The next joint we're gonna do is the Asus Transformer Prime, all right? Now, if you never heard of that, take a look at that on, you know, Google that one up or whatever. It's just coming out on December 8th. Y'all gonna see that right here. That's the first quad-core tablet out, all right? And it's been confirmed that they're going to get the ICS on it, the ice cream sandwich update. So that's going to be a definite go. All right. Quad core tablet with the Tegra 3 chipset. Now, if you don't know what that means and all that, just, just think about it like this. All the tablets out now are dual core processor. All right. The Transformer Prime, quad core. All right. So that's two extra processor. What does that mean? We'll get into that another day. But basically, the tablet is going to be big. It's the first one out. So we definitely got to get into that. So that's what we're doing next, all right? Now, let's just answer a couple of questions that dudes been hitting me up, and believe it or not, it's the same couple of questions all the time, so I'm gonna just touch those real quick, then I'm gonna keep it moving up out of here, all right? First, everybody been hitting me up asking me about lock screens. What lock screen am I using, you know, on all of my phones? Now, I showed y'all in the hot Android apps, I showed y'all Agile Lock, if you like the HTC Sense look and all of that, but they took that off the market. Hey, that's fine, no big deal. Because like I said before, the best lock screen app out right now is Widget Locker. I've been rocking with Widget Locker for years, ever since they first dropped it. You know, like I said, get the paid version. I don't even know if it comes in a free version, but get the paid version. It's completely worth it. They, they stay doing updates on it, right? And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, if you like HTC Sense, this is my Galaxy Player. You get that lock like that. Okay, now that's one of the Widget Locker locks. So get the Widget Locker. You got HTC Sense lock screen, my personal favorite. The honeycomb, you got the honeycomb lock screen, you got the ICS lock screen, you know, you got the standard lock screens, you know, you got a whole bunch of lock screens to choose from, and you could also download as many as you want. All right, so we're not going to turn this into an app review, but just to answer your questions, the best lock screen on the market is Widget Locker. If you want that HCC Sense Lock, get the Widget Locker. All right, next, the wallpaper. Now, believe it or not, I didn't even think it was that big, but a lot of people, for some reason, they like this wallpaper. A lot of people been hitting me up asking me where did I get this wallpaper from. All right, and I'll show you right now. 
I'll post, show you the app I got it from. Pull that up real quick. Now you need to download Flicky Wallpapers. All right, now pull up the image so you can see what it looks like when you go get it from the market. All right, Flicky Wallpaper. When you get Flicky Wallpaper, go in the search and search nights. Okay, nights, like city nights or just nights. And you're gonna get a whole bunch of different, you know, nice city backgrounds, all right? So that's why I get all of these city backgrounds that y'all see on my joints. I get them from Flicky Wallpapers, all right? That's a free joint. I don't know if um, they got the paid version for not. I, I didn't even check, but um, Flicky Wallpapers is free. Next, a lot of people want to know about the weather. Everybody want to know what, what lock screen, you know, the weather lock screen I'm using. All right. Now, this is beautiful widgets. And let me show you what that looks like. I mean, I did this all before on my hot apps video. But if you've never seen that and you just want to check a look real quick, let me show you what it looks like. All right. This is beautiful widgets. Now, when you click on beautiful widgets, you have a whole bunch of different lock screens to choose from. All right. These are ones that I installed. I'm running Honeycomb right now. But... You could download, I'm telling you, this they gotta be at least at least 80. I mean, there's so there's so many different lock screens that you could choose from, you know, to weather screens that you could put on on your lock screen and on your home screen. Alright. So beautiful widgets is where I get that clock and weather screen from. Alright. And the last question that, believe it or not, I've been getting emails forever about this, is how do you root the epic touch? How do you root the Evo? How do you root the photon? All right. Now, I could make an instructional video how to do that, but, you know, that's not really my specialty. All right. So that's why when a lot of cats hit me up, I send you out to my dudes and all that. I'm going to tell you two dudes that hit up. Check them out. If you want to root your epic, they know how to do it and they're reliable sources. All right. Hit up my man, www. What is it? WW Josh Do. All right. He's on my, my, um, on my home page. You can just click from right there. Hit him up. He'll show you how to root your Evo and all of that. If you got any, you know, the Samsung, the Moment. If you, you know, whatever, whatever phone you got, I'm pretty sure he'll show you how to root it. But um, I use his video how to root, how to root my Evo. But Josh, he knows what he's doing when it comes to rooting phones and all that. So I fuck with Josh when it comes to rooting the phones. And next for rooting this Epic, hit up my man QB King 77. All right, now this is one of my new homies and shit. You know, we cool and all that. I used his video to root my Epic. All right, now, now y'all cast that rock with me on Facebook. Y'all know after I rooted the Epic, you know, the signal was having problems with the signal, having a whole bunch of issues with it. So I had to take it back to stock. He also has a nice video on there, you know, step by step and show you how to take it back to stock. Now, I, I don't want to do this because if you mess up, if you make a mistake or you mess up, I'm not going to be able to tell you how to fix it. All right, so hit up QB King 77. I'll put a link to his uh, channel on, on this video. And this way he has step by steps. And he's one of those dudes that when you hit up with a question, he hits you back. All right. So he ain't gonna just leave you hanging, you know, when you know when your phone get bricked or your phone is stuck. He ain't gonna just leave you hanging. All right. So hit him up and he'll show you how to root and unroot your epic touch. All right. So that's about it. Shout out to everybody that follow me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus, Pick Please. Shout out to everybody that rock with the Google Gangster Facebook page. If you've never seen that, go on my YouTube page. Look on the left under my profile. Click on the Google Gangster Facebook page. That's where we're doing all the tech shit at. Shout out to everybody that's posting up there because y'all know I don't get to post up there every day, but all of my dudes that's up there posting all the reviews and posting all the new shit coming out, keep it up. That's what we're doing on that tech page and that tech page is looking real big right now, all right? And also before I get out of here, let me give a special shout out to DJ Coco Chanel. Now, a lot of cats don't know this about me, but about 10 years ago, you know, when I used to work as a paramedic, I used to drive an ambulance in the city and all that. You know, I used to work days, but Friday nights, I used to pick up a little, you know, another shift, get some overtime and all that. I used to stay listening to the radio station. They used to have Ladies Night. It was Coco Chanel, Angie Martinez, Jazzy Joyce, and they blow the radio up. Trust me. So Coco Chanel, she did a little blog about me the other day. Shout out to her for that, man. I respect that. If you don't know who Coco Chanel is and you're in the tri-state area, Hit up 98.7 KISS FM, Saturday nights, 8 to 10, killing the radio, all right? Certified floss of approval, trust me, playing all the new joints. Hit up on Twitter if you want to, you know, wanted to play something special for you. I, you know, she does that, all right? So special shout out to Coco Chanel and all that. I see you out there doing a real big. It's your boy Floss. I'm going to catch up with y'all next week with this uh, Asus Prime and hopefully with the uh, Galaxy Nexus. Deuces.